All right, so um, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about coon hunting lights or hunting lights. I know a lot of uh, people that deer hunt that need a light after they shoot a deer or something like that or uh, pretty much just any, any kind of hunter that's going to be out at nighttime. Mainly, we're going to focus on the coon hunter simply because it's the Coon Hunting with Otter show. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about lights, like what kind of light I use, or do you recommend this light? Do you recommend that light? Well, here's the thing. I have always tried to buy something that's gonna hold up at a low price, and I always tell people that you don't have to have the nicest of the nice. Like you don't have to go out and spend four hundred dollars to buy a light that you can see a you can see a coon with a wheat light, you know, the old wheat light. And, and and I've had kids that have come over and I've got a wheat light up here that was my grandpa's and I, I show it to them and shine it out in a little tree and they're like, oh my goodness, why I how did they see? Okay, well, that was back then, and, you know, the, the light market has come so far. Um, anyways, back to the subject. So, I you can see I'm, I'm a light fanatic. I, I bought several. Uh, I keep a few here for when kids go with me that are just around the house. You know, they... I've all time got teenagers coming and going with me that don't have a light or they don't have a pair of boots. So I, I try to keep a few around for them. Um, I build these right here uh, for when I take, when we do the drawing and take a youth hunter uh, hunting, coon hunting with us. It's uh, pretty simple. It's just a little bump cap. I can actually wear this. Um, this is a one same size helmet. This is for an adult, so uh, I'll put this on. You can see that it, it, it fits me, and it's got a few settings, and then it, it does the flashing, which will get a cone to look also. Dixie Doggers uh, will have these. I, I make these, and he sells them at his store. I think he's going to a couple hunts this weekend in Louisiana. And then I think he's got uh, the Alabama State Championship uh, UKC hunt there uh, in Alabama that he's going to try to be at also. He'll have these. I get about $65 for these. If you want one, you can, if you live around here, you know, check him out. Uh, I think he's actually got some stuff online also. Or you can contact us and I'll try to try to get you one. It'd be, it would be $65 plus shipping and handling. Whatever that is, we'll try to figure it up and, and get one to you. But got that one and then I've got, I'll also have one like this for a lot of youth hunters, uh, my, this is actually my daughter's, but you can you can see it's it's pretty bright and it holds up for several hours. It's got a charger, and then I can uh, can hold the button on. It's actually got a red light and then a red blinking light, and then back to the white light. So. Either one of these, I can build them and have them to you for $65. Back to the uh, lights on a budget or, or best bang for your buck, so to say. This light here, um, this was the first light I bought. My wife wears it now. Uh, comes just like this, shipped to you. It's got a little, little walking light or reading light and, and it, it actually this little light here comes in handy if you're just can't, standing around wanting to look at your gps or something like that you're not shining a bright light out so it's just it takes uh 
the little 32 round lights you can see right there. You just pop it open. It takes one or two. I think one of those. No, it takes two of those. This is a Crystal 9. You can buy this off eBay. I think also that the Buzzard's Roost, if you go online, I think that's one of the Hound Dog uh, supply stores. I think they sell these also. I know off eBay, I give $150 for this. It has three, three settings of uh, just a bright light. You've got low, medium, and then high. It's got a button on the side here of the light. You push it, it goes to nothing. And then you push it again, and you would have three settings of red. And th th this, uh, the red setting, if you shine it there on the door, you can kind of see that it is a defined, like it's, it's a pretty tight beam. Like I said, uh, $150. I've had this light for about, I'm gonna say a year, year and two months. The only problem I had with this light was right here on the front, the little plastic piece that uh, they bought from somewhere when they built the light. It come off. I wound up pop riveting it back. Uh, the back of it, it's got little snap buttons. You can take the battery off if you wanted to put it on a soft hat or something like that. And as far as a comparison to a higher, a higher dollar light, this light will get you in the woods. <clears throat> it will, uh, I found, I've had many cones look at it, you know, look with me using this light. And it, it, it's very lightweight. My wife loves it. So that's $150 there. We're gonna go right here. This is the Kori. I say Kori. I'm not sure if I'm saying that. K O H R E E is is the the way it's spelled. This light you can order offline for I think on uh, Walmart.com. It's like eighty two, eighty three dollars. It's got two LEDs, and I'm gonna compare this one while we're talking about this. This is the Gear OZ light, which is the, if you look at them, it's pretty much the same battery, same design, uh, turn it on the same, but this one has three, LED, three LEDs. So back to this one, uh, you've got three settings, you've got low, medium, and high that's on the white light and you can tell it's as bright i mean i i love these lights for 82 dollars uh i've hunted with them all night long i've never had one go dead then you've got you click it one more time it goes off then you've got a red and this is the only red that you've got. So you can tell from the crystal nine light how it was a pretty tight pattern. This here is more, it's like when you shine up in the tree, you're pretty much just gonna see the whole tree. So you've got red and then a green and then click it one more time and it's off. So the green light you can use like if you're standing around kind of talking to the, you know, as we call it, shooting the bull, whatever. Um, $82, it comes, when it comes shipped to you, it'll come on a soft cap, just like that. Uh, I, and some people prefer these. I, I don't, just because I've grew up coon hunting with a bunk cap or the old mining caps, whatever. But, I took it off, uh, used a piece of strap and pop riveted it to this hard hat. So that one's at, uh, with a hard hat and all, I'm gonna say probably $95, $100 and you're, you've got a nice line. This one here, 
same deal. Uh, I put it on a hard hat. I want to say I give maybe $90 online for it. It's the, like I said, this is the gear OZ, uh, pretty much same light. You've got a, you've got low to medium and then high. Then you click it. One more, this is the difference between it and the Kori. You've got an amber light. I like the amber light if I'm, I use it as a walking light. Then you've got the red, same deal, not not a very tight pattern, just a red light. And then the green, and then off. These two here are both lights under $100. Um, this light here, it is a, this was my third light, or this was my fourth light I bought. So this, uh, I bought this off of eBay also. This is a G and J LED light. Um, uh, they've got a phone number on the back. They don't sponsor me. I, I, I've never talked to them personally, but, uh, the phone number is 304 three six nine three four zero six i'm not sure where they're out of it comes uh not on a hard hat they just ship you a battery with the cord headlamp and i put it on the hard hat myself it's kind of like those i've got a low medium and then high you know again i've got an amber red you can tell the the red's a little bit brighter than what the uh Kori and the gear oz light is then you've got a green and another thing this light comes with there's a button on the back the red button if you can zoom in on that so when uh you know the lasers are the the cool thing to have nowadays on the light so you've got that you click that and you can tell mine's a little bit off it may have got hit before but it's got a red laser so you can kind of if you got a kid or if you're in a competition you can say okay right there you know the coon is is right there i'm putting the laser on him and this light here um, off of eBay, I give, I think, $179 before shipping. So, this light here, with a hard hat and all, around $200. And this is a Bright Eyes Viper. I bought this light used at Winter Classic. And you can tell if I sold all my lights and, and everything else, I, I would have been able to, you know, I could have give three, four hundred dollars for a light. And I just didn't because I felt like those lights, I could get the, I could do the same thing with them for a lot less money. And I'm going to show you a comparison between the brightest part of this light and some of those but right now we'll go through the settings bought this light used but this is the bright eyes viper and it's got a low medium and then another i mean that's not the highest setting that is the highest setting so i've actually got four lights that way if you click it the other way this is my walking light which I, I really like this because I, I use this walking through the woods and you can see it's not a I'm it's not a spotlight on that door. So I've got a that's a low walking light. A little bit brighter. And then that's the high walking light. And at that, that it's a pretty spread out light you can see all around you so it's got two switches here on the on the headlamp itself 
So while I'm in the walking light position, I can flip that switch and I've got four settings of red. So that's the low setting and then the bright setting. So you can see how bright that is. Also, this light, so I flip the switch back and I've got my walk light. A um, little bit more money, uh, I'm sure, you know, this design here, they spend a little bit more time in it. I've also got a laser on this light, and if you look at that, you can actually see the beam of the laser right there. I'll turn it down where you can see the laser better. But that laser is pretty well in line with, with the bright light itself. And it's just a little switch here on the headpiece. All right. So I've got this and I'm going to go back. I'm going to like take the high setting of each one, put them right here on the door, and then everybody can see. Back to the little light I make for youth, um, $65 shipping and handling. So I've got, that's kind of the bright and then a walking and then the walking and the bright. So that will most definitely shine a, that'll shine a tree. You can find a, find a coon with that. And these lights hold up for several hours. I've got white and blue, and I can get, I can make a few more, but uh, I, I mainly just try to do the white and the blue. So we got the Bright Eyes Viper, and I'm going to put it on high, and then, then I'll do this one on high, and I'm going to put them side by side. So that's the Bright Eyes Viper, and this is the G&J LED light. I'm going to bright on it so you can see pretty close for the money I don't know how much this light is new I know at one time it was like 369 this is the gear OZ light and that's the bright on it on the left that's a light under $200, or actually under $100, I think. This is the Kore. That's on, that's on bright. So you can, you can see the bright eyes light is, is a little bit brighter. And then we got one more. And all these lights are fully charged. So this is the Crystal 9. They actually make a Crystal 1, I believe it is, for like 125. It don't have a red light. So that's the Crystal 9. And that's the Bright Eyes. All right. So I hope everybody that watches, they kind of, They've got an idea, and they, they're probably going to comment, and that's good. We love to read the comments, but they're going to think, wow, this guy's a, he has lost it when it comes to coon hunting lights. Um, I keep them around mainly for kids that go with me and all that, but that gives you an idea of what you can spend for a light and get out in the woods you don't have to have a flashlight holding it. You know, you, you, you can spend a little bit of money, less than $100, and, and have a light and be out there hunting. But thank you all for watching. If you would like one of these youth lights, just uh, you can call me it. Or you can, I think my wife's going to like try to have something up where you can send us a message or something and we'll we'll try to get with you get an address get it shipped to you and all that and get your money or 
transaction, however we should say it. Thank y'all.